Okay, so in today's video, we're going to focus on a key term. We're going to use the term momentum, and I want you to associate momentum with weight shift. And we're going to make sure that we get those right, because what happens with most amateur golfers is they don't shift enough weight in the downswing position towards your lead foot. And that basically means that you're never going to be able to use momentum. And this is the reason why things like your ball striking, your distance, and things like your arms end up bent in the golf swing, because you are not moving correctly. And I'm going to simply say and show you how to do it. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to make sure before we start talking about this shifting of momentum that we sequence the early backswing. Okay, so that basically means the takeaway. So what we're going to do first of all is we're just going to get ourselves into a position where we take a nice wide stance, we move the hands to the side of the body it's to the point where if you like, you can try and go to when the club shaft's parallel or slightly beneath that. One of the reference points I use for a lot of students is when your hands are over your trail foot, that's a good position. And what I mean by this position is you don't want much movement, not much head movement. Your weight can move in towards your trail foot, but you can see the way I'm not moving much. And this is good because this type of motion here produces good tilt. See my shoulders are down, not this sort of thing. So that's the first one. Now, from this position, as I then go to swing up towards the top of the backswing, what I'm also gonna do is simultaneously shift my weight to the lead foot. And this is that momentum creator. So here, 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 here. Now, if you imagine you're gonna throw a ball, or if you're going to toss any sort of object, what you would find is that you would naturally create a momentum shift. That basically means as your arms are swinging back, your weight would shift forward. And this then gives it a much more of an easier sequence to the downswing where your arms can come down as you shift left. And that's the big thing that we're after. So the next part of this is pausing that takeaway. And then as you swing up to the top, I want you to progressively move more weight towards your lead toe in the top of the backswing like so. And then from there, the last little point, is to maximize that momentum and to maximize that extension is get your hands reaching towards a target. And I promise you, if you can just put those three things together, it's gonna to make a massive difference to your distance. It's also gonna make a massive difference to the quality of your strike. And also you'll find a massive difference to the consistency as well. So again, it looks like so. One, two, three. Okay, so the way I've put those three things together, much better, work on it, let me know, I'll see you soon.